Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my Tales of Perseria review slash reaction. Now, I wanted to make this video all fucking week, but the demon in my life known as Super Robot Wars V refused to release my attention span, and I was just stuck. But I'm not done with it yet. Far from it, actually. Only on stage like 18, but I had to beat Berseria this week because this game came in hot, and I spent all weekend playing that game. And I was like, fuck, I still have to beat Berseria, so I beat it this week. And my thoughts on Berseria? One of the best localized Tales games I've ever played. I didn't think I was going to be saying that. Initially, as you know, because you know I'm a Zestiria fanboy, and I heard that systematically Berseria changed everything from Zestiria that I liked. You know, the world map's smaller, which it is. The combat's a bit different, and, uh, you know, a few other things. But for the most part, you know, that was that world map and the battle system and everything else. Like, I was, I was told that it was pretty much Zillia 3 in terms of the way it was built. Which I guess is kind of true, but it doesn't really feel like it, because, you know, I guess I don't really feel like making that connection, because on a personal level, I fucking despise Zillia, but I fucking love Berseria, so I would refuse to make that, you know, connection personally, but that's what I've been, I, I've heard that before, so, whatever. But, first and foremost, this game is fucking amazing, like, I would, okay, look, I'm a Tales fan, I love Tales games, however, objectively, I know they're not really the greatest games out there, they're still good. I still think they're good because you know they, they're consistent in to they're consistent in quality. You know, one of the few older JRPG series to still be around and not be you know shitting itself in the bed like a certain Square Enix title. But I was expecting you know a fun, good game, but not like a game that was gonna going to surprise me with how good it was. But once again, just like how Zestiria blew me away, Berseria blew me away even more. But what I love about Berseria is the fact that even though the Zestiria bashers and I made the same thing now, they have to admit that Hysteria is good for something, because a lot of the reason that Berseria is fucking amazing is because of all the links it has with uh, Hysteria. Woo boy! I got fucking hype when Zavid showed up in like the, like, the, like, like the end of Act 1 or whatever that was, and he shows up and then Eisen are like, Eisen and him have a fucking high school boy standoff, and I'm like, oh shit, Clash of Swagger, this is where Eisen meets Zavid, and also, it just, this whole game, I'm just so interested in it because, you know, as you know, if you play, if you play this series, it's not really a spoiler, Aizen turns into a dragon at the end of, uh, at the, uh, end of, uh, not the end of Berseria, but, like, you know, before the series starts, I'm fucked up right now. But, we never knew why, or we just knew that he had a bunch of malevolence. At least I never knew why, because... I thought the whole Aizen thing was going to be in the main plot, and it turned out that in First Hysteria, you have to kill, you, it's like a side mission for that shit. It's like, oh, fuck. Well, forgive me if I thought, like, some major character, you know, who turned the dragon, and who's also the fucking brother of one of the main characters, you know, is going to have something that happen like that in the main story. But Hysteria and Berseria are very weird like that. There's a fucking side quest in Berseria where... <laughs> It's basically the closure of the storyline between Zavid and fucking Aizen, right? And it's a side mission. The fucking... And in the side mission, we find out why Aizen even turns into a dragon in the first place. Why would you make that optional? And there was even the fucking side quest with Eleanor where you can kill, where you can kill the uh, demon that killed her mother. It's like, well, wouldn't that be in the main story? Wouldn't it be better if that was the case? But look, that's like, that's my like only grievance with the game. But yeah, like I said, the whole Link with Zestiria are great. The fucking f first, the final, final dungeon of Act 1 is the final fucking boss. I mean, the final, not the final boss, the final dungeon of Zestiria, the Empyrean Throne, which is called Artorius' Throne in Zestiria, which was, that I, that was like the first thing I noticed <coughs> when Berseria got announced and, you know, the level was all screaming Artorius' name and shit. And I was like, wait a minute. And I loaded up my Zesty file and it said Artorius' throne. And I was like, holy fucking shit. So I guess after the events of fucking Berseria, it's renamed to that. Which is, I guess, pretty cool. But I mean, you'd think it would just be renamed to, you know, or not be renamed at all. But hey, whatever. Fuck it. Considering what happens at the end of the game. But before we get to that, what really tipped me off about the fact that I knew I was going to love this fucking game was the fact that it started off with, uh, you know, you know, of course, JRPGs always have the villages, you know, destroyed at some point. You know, start off in a peaceful village, you know, doing side missions, you know, helping out the, fa the family friends, you know, pat petting the neighbor's dog and shit before things go up into fucking, you know, flames. But the way this, the very Berseria does it is just so fucking ruthless because everybody turns into a demon, velvet, 
on accident kills all of her fucking friends and her brother is killed before her very eyes. Which is like, holy fucking shit. This is the first hour of a Tales of game. <laughs> like, look, I know there are fucked up Tales games out there. Abyss being one of them for damn sure. But honestly, I really believe that Berseria could be the most fucked up Tales. And I have yet to finish every Tales of game out there. So, of course, you know, it'd be a bit of a bold claim without all that, you know, end game knowledge of all the fucking fucked up twists that could be in all of the games. But I'm all about making bold claims. It's fucking me. It's Mega Slap. You know what it is. So I'm going to say it. Berseria is it's not the most dark Tales of game. It's the fucking high... One of the, it has to be at least number two or number three. But I'm pretty fucking sure. This is the only fucking game you play in a Tales of series where you burn down, well, you burn a city, you leave a city burning, and you don't give a fuck, and the game continues. This is like, oh, fuck, this, you guys, because you go to a city in the beginning of the game where, you know, you you do a bunch of shit. You're like, you know, because Velvet's all about, you know, working outside a lot to get her fucking revenge because she's trying to kill the very first shepherd. And also, see, shit like that is why Versailles is awesome. The first shepherd and the first lord of calamity, and you make a game about them? I never in a million years thought I'd be playing a Tales of game as the and I'm the fucking Lord of Calamity. Oh, when that twist came, I was fucking hyped. Of course, that was spoiled for me, but it doesn't really matter because I, I got spoiled in some shit in Berseria. Like, Mal Tellus being in the fucking game, right? I was like, oh, shit. I didn't want to know about that. I was like, oh, man, what the fuck? But, you know, I guess it makes sense that he was in the game because, you know, chronological order of the plot and all that shit that happened was in stereo. But still, I didn't think about it because the thing was, I actually forgot a lot of out of, even though this is one of my top Tales of games, I haven't played it since beating it, so there's a lot of shit I forgot, because I didn't think I was going to have to retain anything. Like, I was like, okay, so Stereos is another Tales of game, and, you know, I'm not going to remember anything about its lore, but there's a bunch of shit in Berseria's lore that is just, like, huge. It's crazy. We pretty much find out, like, we already knew Fantasia and Symphonia was in the, were in the same universe, but now we know that Symphonia, <laughs> Symphonia, uh, Fantasia, Abyss, and Berseria, at the very least, are all in the same universe, because Eleanor has lost Fawn Drive. Now, I'm pretty fucking sure Lost Fawn Drive is only in fucking Tales of the Abyss, which could only mean that it's linked with Abyss, and there must be a bunch of, like, a million of other links that I'm not even noticing, because... I didn't do all the side quests, because I had to fucking finish that game, but it, it just, it's just crazy. And even though the world map isn't, you know, as big and ambitious as Hysteria is, it's fucking pretty. It's, it's nice, you know, it doesn't have that shitty-ass Zillia setup, you know, where literally, every, like, it's a bunch, of, a bunch of set piece maps, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, you're done with the map, you're done with the new town, one, two, three, one, two, three, literally the same fucking map, you're just going through the same fucking map, the same motions, one, two, three, one, two, three, go on the straight line, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, same fucking areas. No. Berseria actually has unique areas, you know, you know, not all the areas represent each other. Now, I heard people bitching about the fucking... Uh, dungeons and shit? <laughs> Come on, dude! Who the fuck plays a Tales of game for the fucking dungeon design? Look, I'm pretty sure Zestiria's dungeons were a step up outside of that fucking water dungeon. Yeah. But yeah, it wasn't that bad, but you know, as a gamer, we all have to automatically shit on water temples, you know what I'm saying? It is just, it's in our blood. But you know, anywho, what the fuck else was I talking about, man? Honestly, I feel like I've started and dropped a million points in this video, but that's just to show how much I love this game. It's honestly... Now, with V and Sora no Kiseki 3rd coming right after this, I'm not sure what would be my game of the year, but Tales of Berseria could very well be my game of the year. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but if it's not number one, it's got to be number two or number three. This game blew me the fuck away. I recommend it. I own two copies of it. I don't give a fuck. I love it. I love this game. Velvet is a potential new waifu and shit. I mean, it's just so much I can t go on about. And I mean, there's just... I really want to talk more about the character, but I don't want to make the video too long. But all I got to say is the character interaction is great. The skits... I have not laughed this much at skits since fucking... Grace's F, and I know everybody hates Grace's F, but I don't give a fuck. Grace's F is a great Tales of game, and the skits are great. 
and I was laughing my ass off. You know, not this whole shitty Zillia shit. <laughs> no, the Bazongas, dude. The Bazongas. No, 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 there's no shit like that. But you got hilarious writing, great character interactions, and the skits are pretty lengthy, and there's a ton of them. And they also got this fucking Kiseki tier, and not Kiseki, not Kiseki, not Kiseki, not Kiseki tier, but still, there's a bunch of NPCs you can talk to now. They have, like, great personalities. You know, you actually like them. They're likable. You want to do all of the NPC events that you run into, pretty much. And, like, that's what I did. And I saw an exp explanation point somewhere. I fucking did the fucking thing. I was like, oh, God, I gotta talk to these NPCs. And, you know, that wasn't something I really did until I started playing Trails. And now I'm doing it in the Tales game, and I'm just like, wow, I just really like talking to NPCs now. What the fuck's going on? So, I'm hoping the next one is also within Berseria's universe, because Zesty was open-ended. So we got the prequel to Zesty, we have Zestiria, and now we have the sequel to Zesty. And I, I hope that this what they, that's what they do, because there's just so much they can do with this setting. I really like it. The whole malevolence thing is cool. I like how they pretty much hid that sort of until a certain point in Berseria. Uh, the whole segment where Velvet was going crazy after killing Oscar and t uh, Teresa. Now, one of my boys who's not a fan of Abyss, he still respects how dark it is. And he came to me and he was like, yo, Mecha Slash, man, that, you saw that shit, right? And I was like, yeah, man, I saw that shit. Doesn't it make that kid fall into the acid look like nothing? And I was like, that's how you know Berseria is fucking good because... If it had been any other game he was talking about or any other Tales game say, and saying that that scene was nothing compared to some scene that happened to another Tales game, I would have gone the fuck off. But I didn't go the fuck off this time because it's Berseria and I, I don't agree with that. I still think that thing's great. But it, uh, I was, I'm still like, you know, this is pretty more, this is more fucked up. A main character in a Tales of game is killing people and dealing with the ramifications of that. Like, more so than, you know, oh, God, well, you know, Luke's whole thing where he's like, I killed in self-defense. Like, no, I actually murder people. <laughs> I've been murdering people since the start of the game. It's like, holy shit. So, yeah, it's just so much stuff like that. And honestly, I, could go about, I can go on about this game for hours. For all I know, I could make a fucking, uh, a fucking Twitch video about it because I, there's so much I want to talk about. But it's already fucking 12 minutes in, and I look, all right, the video's long enough. But look, yes. Yeah, Berseria is great, and sorry if I spoiled anything. If you didn't, if you if you didn't know anything about the game coming in, but I really didn't talk about a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I could have gone into, but I, I just couldn't because there's just so much to talk about with this fucking game. But yes, if you're stuck to the end, you got spoiled. Whatever, don't worry about it. I got spoiled too, baby. It's whatever, and you should get the game if you haven't gotten it. And if it's not, like I said, if it's not my fucking game of the year. It has to be at least top three. But yeah, that's my video for now. Uh, yeah. Looks like I rambled for a bit, a little bit longer than I, I wanted to, but I'm pretty sure you guys are used to that by now.